A, fight the power. Fight the power that be. So, I've been looking up some more stuff on Petty Misdemeters. People are actually finally challenging this stuff. Okay. So, this is the first one that I think is really cool to go over. And I'll have to double check and see if this has been overturned. Now, this is not legal advice. It's just where to find it. Okay. This is State v loffler 2001 okay and this guy was actually able to get a petty misdemeanor overturned because the procedure is the same as for misdemeanors and the accused in, is entitled to a formal complaint within 30 days after demand for a formal complaint is entitled to dismissal if no valid complaint is made and filed within the time required and it was a tab charge for a speeding violation. Okay. So, there's that one. Um, and actually, I'll show you how to find this stuff. You go to the state's law library. And up here, you put in quotes, Betty Misdemeanor. And you search it. Okay, it's Supreme Court Opinions. So, this is another one that's interesting, too. Uh, so, this is, uh, I think, this year's decision? Uh, a few years ago. Okay, State v. Sergeant, Carlos Ramon Sergeant. Okay, because uh, Article 1, Section 10 of the Minnesota Constitution requires law enforcement officers to have reasonable articulable suspicion of criminal activity to expand the scope and duration of a traffic stop beyond its initial purpose and because the violation of a pretrial release does not constitute criminal activity it's a civil activity the law enforcement officers investigation into the appellant's non-criminal violation exceeds the permissible scope and duration of the traffic stop and so they reversed and remanded. And then there's the opinion. Well, what's really interesting is if we go over here, right, Minnesota in 609.02 definitions. Subdivision 1, a crime. A crime means conduct which is prohibited by statute and for which the actor may be sentenced to imprisonment with or without a fine. Okay, let's go down here. This one's really cool too, Mr. Hudson, and those uh, GOPers, right? 609.02, subdivision 4A, petty misdemeanor. Petty misdemeanor means a petty offense, which is prohibited by statute, which does not constitute a crime, and for which a sentence of a fine not more than $300 may be imposed. Hmm. So the traffic offenses that are petty misdemeanors that do not constitute a crime. So there is a whole bunch of stuff here, okay? You have the Ren v. United States stuff. It talks about traffic offenses, right? This is Rhode Island stuff. Uh, this doesn't apply to Minnesota necessarily, but there's a lot of stuff here, okay? And part of it is Terry v. Ohio, right? In criminal activity, it's civil. Okay. And again, these other things, uh, they end up saying crime and stuff like that. Okay. And that you have to have reasonable suspicion. So, reasonable suspicion that a taillight is out of it doesn't rise to the level of concern for safety, which has to be reasonably articulated per the traffic codes for Minnesota in order to enhance that to a misdemeanor does not rise to the level of a crime. Okay, so you're detaining somebody to seizure okay to question them for a civil matter stop and think about that okay because 
if we pause for just one second here and we go back over to these Supreme Court cases some of these say that uh, they can't do post-conviction relief because it's not a crime so your rights you don't have the right to a jury because it's done in criminal court not civil if it's done in civil court you could pay $140 or 210 whatever the dang jury fee is to have a jury of your peers and there's other rights for criminal complaints that you don't have for civil so they're doing it in criminal court when it's a civil matter doesn't sound very constitutional this is what I've been saying for quite a while um, okay and that was uh, Brady uh, v. Minnesota or sorry Brady Freeman v. Minnesota okay um, but yet if you do have counsel you can have ineffective assistance of counsel which is interesting So, you can read through it. <laughs> See, but here, the, in their decision, they don't know what to do. Because this is both the constitutions that give criminal defendants. But it's a civil defendant, if it's a petty misdemeanor, right? It does not apply to non-criminal cases, right? So, they can violate your rights. And that's the whole thing, right? So, it just gets interesting. But it does say, though, that even if it did rise, it, its claim fails. So, either way. But, they tell you right there. Okay. And we already did the Brady. And then, uh... Let's go over here to State v. Banks. Okay, but various traffic violations can be suspicion. So civil violations can be enough for reasonable suspicion. So you have to be able to articulate that. Right? So it goes through this right here. Nearly causing a traffic accident. Right? So nearly causing a traffic accident is reasonable suspicion of safety related. She could cause harm, which elevates that to a misdemeanor. So that's also off of that right and it's reasonable suspicion for the DUI okay so they can still do that but they have to be able to articulate it they have to do their reports right okay and they should be charging those too. If they're not charging them, then why would you pull them over for something you're not going to charge? I'm not sure. Let me search this one for petty misdemeanor.
So something about hearsay and petty misdemeanors. So I'm sorry I didn't know that. Anyway. Okay, State v. Wood. The rules of criminal procedure do not apply, f require formal service of a misdemeanor or petty misdemeanor. To see, they don't want to serve it. Okay, so they don't have to properly serve it as long as they get it to you for the complaint, for the request of complaint. But, so yeah. If that probable cause to issue the complaint, so they have to be able to articulate it. But they do have the right to confront the witness. So... Because she could cross-examine. You guys can do this on your own. Figure it out. It's not hard. Okay. But like go read this stuff. And then come back. And then we can debate this whole. Oh. They can't stop you for petty misdemeanors. And then question you. To incriminate you for. Higher level of crimes. Like. Dude. It'd be like them being able to stop you for spitting on the sidewalk. And then like. Try to get all up in your business. You know you know what I mean? And like, nah, dude. Nah. Yeah, unless you want to go to Singapore out. Hey, then that's all cool. We can, we can just go to straight spy cam too, man. You know, and just do the public caning for spitting on the sidewalk. It's real clean over there, though. You know, but they have like no rights. So, cool. <laughs>